So welcome to Technodad Life and today what we're going to do is show you how to fix your Wi-Fi with graph paper, a tape measure, a pencil, and a cell phone. If you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and anything I mentioned in the video I'll try and remember to put in the description below. So what we're going to be doing today is something called Wi-Fi heat mapping. And so basically I've done a couple videos with this. So one I did a few years ago. I'll put a little box up here that shows that. And then recently my video improving Joe's Wi-Fi, uh, I also used this actually what we're going to be doing today. So what we're going to be doing is showing you how to do Wi-Fi heat mapping. And so what Wi-Fi heat mapping is, is basically mapping the Wi-Fi signal in an area so you can see how strong or weak it is. And so this is a great way to know how to basically improve your Wi-Fi because then you can do some simple things to actually improve your Wi-Fi, such as just moving your router or your access point or whatever you have in your situation. And it's something that uh, is so simple, but no one ever does. So today we're going to show you how to do it. So the first thing we need to do is take our one piece of graph paper, and then we need to draw a rough estimate of what our house looks like, or whatever building you're doing the Wi-Fi on looks like. Okay, so here's mine. It is definitely not to scale and you can just barely see it on there. But what we want is the basic shape because now the next step, so now the next step is to actually uh, go measure each room and then we're going to write it on here. And then we're going to actually expand this so it's actually proportional on our piece of paper. So let's do that. So we need our tape measure. Okay, so I got my rough numbers here, and so now what I'm going to do is take another piece of graph paper and make this neater because we're going to take a picture of this in a second. Okay, so basically this is the layout of the building that I'm going to scan today. And so each one of these blocks is one and a half feet, and so it's very important when you do this that you keep the blocks the same size or for the feet that you're doing. So that way when we actually input it into our phone here, then it will be accurate. So the next thing we want to do is download an app. And so that app is the NetSpot app. And let's see, I'll put a logo for it here so you know it. So once you've done that, you'll see there's two things on here. We have Wi-Fi heat maps and speed tests. And so what we're going to be doing is Wi-Fi heat maps, but it's actually good to check your speed in different locations around your house to start out with. So we're just going to do a speed test here at my desk, see what happens. And you can see I don't have the greatest speed here in the basement. So that will be something we can work on in the future. But now we're going to switch to the heat mapping parts. And so first thing we want to do is add a new project. Okay, so I've drawn out the house. And so basically the house is about 60 feet long and about 26 feet wide. But for the app, that's a little too thin. So I added another 26 foot line here. So then when I use the app, uh, it will have better calculations. Okay. 
So now open up the NetSpot app and click on New Project and take a photo. And so we're going to take a photo with our lines in there so we know where everything is. And then Use Photo. Continue. And so we're going to move the dots over to the edges of our house there. And then for me, the other extra line I put in there. And then we're going to change the feet to uh, 52 feet. And click Done and Continue. And it's medium sized and so right there that orange dot that indicates how frequently you should take them. So in the smaller room basically I should take two and in the bigger room I should take four. So let's start doing that now. So we'll hit continue. And then we put our dots where we're going to take our first measurement and we'll go from there. So let's do our first scan. Okay, so I am back with my results and I'll be showing them on screen right here. And you can see that they're pretty interesting here. So if we look, uh, if I'm that person in the middle, if you follow that person, there's a line that goes across my house where we don't have very good reception. Now the funny thing is where the guy is right there is where the actual router, Wi-Fi router is. And it's one of the lower spots, as you can see there, it's 33. Whereas if you go further along in that room, it actually gets better. So somehow the, uh, the antennas on that router are pointed differently. As you can see, as we go along, they get better as we head that direction. Now where we have the most Wi-Fi problem is along this area of the house. Basically the farthest away from the router, so it's 13, 10, 12, 9, 9, and that one is 40, so that's pretty good actually. So what my idea here is that to place a repeater probably over here someplace that would get this corner right there and then that would sort of do all that. Or we could do one right there. Actually, there are actually two choices. So one is I can move the router, or three choices. I can move the router get a to somewhere in the middle so we would have better coverage over that end area there. Unfortunately the cable company put in that router and it's just like they drilled a hole through the wall at the front of the house and just stuck a router there. Uh, this is the old house so I don't have a lot of opportunities to run wires. Uh, it's a long story but I did a little one about, uh, I'll put it up, yep, right there, about uh, a video about doing ethernet cable in this house because it's so, it's been added on to like three or four times so everything is mismatched and things aren't where they're supposed to be or what you would expect. And also there's wires basically that are very old and then also not where they're supposed to be. So, uh, so that was a long tantrum about why it's hard to uh, do Ethernet runs in old houses, but it can be done. Uh, 
So I could move that there. I could also just get a stronger router, but the cheapest way to do that is actually buy a Wi-Fi uh, repeater. And so here you can see the Wi-Fi repeater that I bought. And so it's $26 with a $3 coupon right now. But these are great for filling in gaps in your Wi-Fi. If you have the same brand, so if I had other TP-Link and not the uh, cable modem, then, then this would be able to do a mesh setup, which I'm planning on doing soon. I have a uh, old TP-Link AP or access point that I can mesh with this with, and then so I'll have mesh throughout my whole house. So basically those are your options. So move your router and get a better router or you know buy a $20 uh, Wi-Fi extender, which is probably the cheapest and best bet for most people. And so that's how we did the Wi-Fi heat mapping. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, until then, or until next time, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.